Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on measuring lines. In this video, we're going to look at how to measure the length of a line using a ruler. So here we've got a 15 centimeter ruler. Uh, typically, whenever you get a ruler, it's either a 15 centimeter one, which is the slightly smaller one, or the 30 centimeter one, the one that's twice as big. And they would be the typical rulers that you'd use. You will, here we've got our centimeters on the top, and we've got our inches below. Now, in maths questions, you're usually asked to measure the length of a line in centimetres or millimetres, um, so your metric units, which would be those ones on the top. So we're going to use this top half of the ruler a lot in this video. So as you can see, it's a 15 centimetre ruler. It starts at zero here and goes one centimetre, two centimetres, three centimetres, and so on, all the way up to 15. And each of the centimetres is marked by, uh, by a longer line here. So it goes zero, one two, three, and so on. And all those centimeters are marked with longer lines. There are also smaller lines and they represent millimeters. And in each centimeter, there is 10 millimeters. So we've got one millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters, four millimeters, five, which is the middle, which is half a centimeter. So it's slightly longer, six millimeters, seven millimeters, eight millimeters, nine millimeters, and then your 10 millimeters, which is a centimeter. So that is a typical ruler, which you can use to measure the length of a line. So let's have a look at our first example now. So our first example says measure the length of the line AB. So we've got this horizontal line AB and we've been asked to measure the length of it. So we're going to take our ruler, we're going to make sure we've got our centimetres here at the top and we're going to look and see where the zero is. So that's this line here. And we're going to make sure that line is lined up with the beginning of the line here. So we're going to move it so that the beginning of the line is exactly in line with that zero. And we're just going to count up how many centimetres it is, so how long that line is. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you can see, it's just six centimetres long. So let's write that down. And whenever we were writing six centimetres long, we were going to write six. And then instead of writing centimetres out, I'm going to just write CM, which stands for centimetres. So the line is six centimetres long. OK, next question. In our next question, we've been asked to measure the length of the line CD, and that's a vertical line. So I'm going to need to turn my ruler around so that it's vertical, so like so. And I'm going to put the zero, which is at the bottom, at the bottom of the line. So lining it up. So somewhere like that. And as you can see, if it starts off at zero, it reaches five centimeters. So the length of that line is five cm, five centimeters. OK, and our next question says, measure the length of the line EF. So as we can see, EF is a diagonal line. So we're going to get our ruler and we're going to turn it so that it is in the same direction. It's going the same way as our line. And we need to make sure we do this perfectly. So, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. And we are going to... And we're going to make sure that the zero is lined up with the beginning of the line. So there. And as you can see, the line is 10 centimetres long. So that line is 10 centimetres long, 10 cm. It starts at zero and reaches 10. So it's 10 centimetres. OK, our next question. Now, sometimes whenever you've been asked to measure the length of the line, it won't be an exact number of centimetres. It may be a decimal number of centimetres. So as you can see, we've got the line here, CG. It's a horizontal line, so we're just going to line up the ruler so that the zero is at the beginning of the line, like so. And we're going to look and see where it reaches. So the line goes past four centimetres, but it doesn't reach five. So it's going to be four point something centimetres. And we're going to look and see how many millimetres there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five. It goes past there, 4.6, 4.7. So it reaches 4.7 millimetres. So it reaches 4.7 centimetres. So our answer is 4.7 centimetres. Now, if the question asks us to measure it in millimetres, because it's 10 millimetres in every centimetre, then that would be 10, 20, 30, 40 millimetres, and another 7, so it would be 47 millimetres. But if you were asked to measure it in centimetres, it would be 4.7 centimetres. Okay, and our next question. Okay, and our next question we've been asked to measure the length of the line IJ. So as you see, it's another diagonal line, so we're going to get our ruler, and we're going to line it up with our line, and again, making sure that the zero is at the beginning of the line, so there. So let's see how long that line is. So it's longer than one centimetre, but it doesn't quite reach the two centimetres, so it's going to be one point something centimetres, and it reaches, let's see, there's 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1.4, 1 1.5 centimetres. So it goes past the middle. 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. So it's the last me measurement there, the last marking just before the 2 centimetres. So it's 1.9 
centimeters long. If you were asked to measure that in millimeters, it would be 19, because remember there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, so you've got 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 19 millimeters. And that's it. So to measure the length of the line, the important things to remember are, make sure that you're using the right side of the ruler, make sure you're using the centimeter side of the ruler, if you've been asked to measure it in centimeters or millimeters. Also make sure that you line up the zero with the beginning of the line. So that's very important. Sometimes students will accidentally move the ruler along and not be using the zero at the beginning. So it's very important we put the zero at the beginning of the line. Another thing that's very important is if the line is vertical or diagonal, that you line up the ruler perfectly with those. And then finally, sometimes the measurements aren't exact number of centimeters or not a whole number of centimeters, like six or seven centimeters. So sometimes you'll have to write maybe 4.7 centimeters or 4.1 or 4.5 or so on. If it was in the middle, it would be 4.5 centimeters. Also remember, you can also use millimeters by just making sure that for every centimeter, there's 10 millimeters and writing it in millimeters. And that's it.